to Johan. Okay, Johan. Hello, everybody. And, uh, glad to be here outside today. We'll see how this goes. Um, so if uh, Mary would put the uh, sheet on for this week, I think we're into session 12 of learning the whole set. We're going to do a few warm ups at the beginning. We'll show you those in a moment. Just to uh, and review the basic principles. And then we'll do moves 75 through 98 uh, with instructions. And uh, we'll start off by doing the whole group that we've learned to the end of uh, 98. So they're the ones we're gonna do today. Um, there we go. It's uh, they're pretty well a rehash of what we've done before. They might have a little bit different name, but they're essentially the same same moves. So that's what happens with Tai Chi. It's a repetition. It's a one side to the other side, and uh, maybe a little bit of a different uh, connecting moves in between. So if uh, you can show me the, the top section again, Mary. So the, the basic principles are the 45 degree angle step and the position of the front knee. You should never move your front knee over your toe. You should, if you look down, you will always be able to see the, the toe. And squaring the hips is essentially having the the hips square to the uh, leg that you your weight the, your weight bearing leg, and there's a straight line from the back of your head to the back of your heel, in, uh, in most of the moves that you you don't want to deviate by leaning forward or backwards or offline, and equal and opposite forces. There's a lot of uh, kind of like this, and your arms go in opposite directions. And but it's it's an equal stretch. The tiger's mouth is your hand, or yeah, and, and it's a tension. You try to keep an intention in your hand all the way through the set. And you think of a tiger's mouth between the middle finger and your and your thumb. Some people think of the index or the pointing finger and 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 in between your thumb. And it's kind of if you remember it at all, and once in a while you do, you just give it a little intention. And holding the ball is what I was doing there earlier, just between your wrists. And the bubbling spring is, is a focal point for where your weight should be, just behind the ball of your foot. So when you change from one move to the other, you want to change completely from one foot and your weight, you can feel it, put it to that behind that ball of the foot. And then you want to stay on that spot, say, especially if you go on one leg to do a kick or something like that. So we're going to start off with uh, doing a Danyu and a Toryu left and right. And then we're doing creeping low like a snake, because that is the move we're going to start off with in the new section. And that is uh, pretty well the same as this uh, exercise. So we'll start right now with a few warm, those three different warm ups. Or actually, if you continue, count left and right for a Toryu. And uh, then we'll continue by doing the whole set. I'll face away from you to start in the same direction that you guys will be going. So you can uh, kind of follow what I'm doing. And if we have time, we'll do both directions on the new uh, uh, numbers of moves. I didn't really add them up. 75 to 98 is almost 25 moves anyway. Okay, here we go. Oops, I'm in the sun. So we'll do the, just the uh, little bit of a knee stretch. Just sit as far as you can go down and just stretch your knees and maybe push them out with your elbows just a little bit to line them up. You can do it that way. And just sit there for a minute, or not quite a minute, just to, till you can feel it. And yeah. 
that's just to prepare yourself. Okay. Now we'll do the Don you feet slightly uh, further apart than your shoulders, a little bit out at an angle, slight bend in the knees, arms in front, hands facing up. And then as you go down, just take a deep breath. Lower your hands, follow your hands down, raise them. Do about 10 of those. Try not to bend forward, just push yourself straight up and down. What I mean by not bending forward is, I'll, I'll do a couple down this way, is going like this. So you just raise and lower yourself on your feet. One. Two. Three. One more. Four. Okay. And then the Toru. Feet together, parallel. Take your left foot, move it out at 45 degrees. Get all your weight on that bubbling spring behind the ball of your foot. So when you lay lift, all your weight is on that foot there. And you just step straight out and squaring the hips to this leg. Now my weight is all on there. And arms out. There's a point here between that heel and my, my head, straight line. And tiger's mouth. And then you just push your, bend your knee, rotate back to the left leg. All your weight's back there. And cross your arms, bring them up. Rotate your spine. Okay. Always face forward. So you're really just rotating your spine below your head. If you're looking at a point, just keep that point straight and level so that it doesn't bob up and down. You're just switching your weight from one foot to the other. Hips parallel, squaring the hips, that's called. A couple more. One. Okay, and then we'll do the other side. Feet together, 45 degrees on the right foot. Sit into it, step, and begin. Shift your weight, look straight ahead. Square your hips, rotate your hips, square them. So you straighten your right leg and bend your left leg. Bend your left knee. And that's the rotation. That's what causes the rotation. Is that going from one leg to the other? About three more of those. I'm losing count by my chattering away. Okay. Now we'll do that creeping low like a snake. That's kind of like the Don Yu, only a little more uh, agility or strength is required. 
put your feet fairly wide apart, point it out. And then you sit into one leg, your knee going over your toe and lower yourself like this. Come up and lower yourself onto the other side as far as you can go. And a bit of a wonky knee on that side, so you have to watch it. And we'll do three of those on each side. So your right arm goes out this way and the other goes down over the stretched out leg. And one more. Okay. And then just relax for a minute. Up a good breath. And then we'll start into the moves. Now I should get into position here. I can't really see myself. Where am I? There we are. And I'll face away from you. Try to work in that space a little bit further this way. Anyway. Okay. So you're facing the same way I am. Hands in front of you, just slightly flex knees. Just relax for a minute, focus. Take three breaths. Okay, begin. Raise your hands. Right foot, left heel, opening Tai Chi. Hold the ball, sit, step left, left Grasper's tail, hold the ball, sit, step right, Grasper's tail. Draw the bow, take the pulse. Drop elbows and rotate your hips from one leg to the other. Pigeon toed, left toe down, right hand into the elbow. Whip your weight, 45 degrees in the left foot. Kneel down, step up and raise hands. Looks like this. Open, ball, step parallel with your right foot, push across, white stork spreads wings. Stay tall, sit, left brush knee, twist step, step up. Oops, sorry, forgot one. Left brush knee. And then it's a half a step. Strum the paper. Sit. Left brush knee. Twist step. Right brush knee. Twist step. Left brush knee. Now we'll get back in the picture. And another uh, half a step. Strum the paper again. Toe down. Left brush. To a step, step up, step back. One. Chop with fist. Step up. Deflect, parry, and punch. Clean off. Here to close entrance. Raise hands like the Danyu. Cross hands. Toe to heel, turn, and carry tiger to mountain. Same moves as like 
left gra or grass bird's tail. Pigeon toed, whip out diagonally to the right, to the left, and to see me from going out and to the right again, and fist under out. Open half a step, board off monkey. Open. I think I've got the wrong step here, but anyway, half a step. Let me try that again. Uh, fist under elbow. Here we go. Here we go. This way. That felt wrong. As soon as you feel wrong, and it's probably wrong. Ward off monkey. Half a step. Ward off monkey. Open. Half a step. Do a couple more of those. Half a step. Half a step. And then full step behind, turn, flying at a slant. Present. Half a step. Part the curtains. Step up and raise hands. Hold the ball, push across, left toe down, white stark spreads wings. Open, left brush knee. Half a step, toe down, grasp the wrist and push your hand right to the floor. Push your hands to the sea bottom. Hand penetrates the wall, right hand down, turn, and chop the fist, clean off, step back, claw, present, chop with fist, step, punch, twist step, hold the ball, step up, Grasper's tail. Drop elbows. Whip to one side. Then move hands like clouds. This one comes in, this left hand sweeps around. One, do this five times. Step, sweep, bring across. Keeping your hips facing forward. Right hand sweeps. Right hand comes across. Left hand comes across. Right hand sweeps. And whip to one side. Okay. Next one, reach up to pad horse. Hold your hands parallel. Step left. Scoop. Separate foot to the right. Kick. Step right. Separate foot to the left, kick, Walk a step behind, pigeon toed. Kick, left brush knee, twist step, right brush knee, twist step, Get your balance, step with the left foot, fist comes down. Hands go down and you touch the ground. Turn, you chop the fist, clean off, step by qua, present, chop the fist, 
punch, deflect parry punch. Twist step, cross hands. Yep, get my balance. The ground's a little uneven. Kick. Present. Step to the back. Hawk tiger's ear on the left. Present. Pigeon toed. Turn. Fox tiger's ears on the right. Shift your weight. Kick. Fox tiger's ears. Shift your weight. And kick left. Pigeon toed, heel the to toe, toe to toe. Kick right. Step back, paw. Chop with this. Step to reflect, parry, and punch. Lean off. Raise hands. Vertical's entrance, cross hands. And did I do something wrong? Nope. Go again. Brush knee, carry tiger. Now whip out diagonal or horizontally and to elbow. Shift your weight. This is what we did last week. Hold the ball. Step 45 degrees, parting horse's mane on the right. Parting horse's mane on the left. Right, remember you're walking 45 degrees to a straight line between your legs. Left, parting horse's mane. And right. We'll move back. Hold the ball, step up, left grasper's tail, hold the ball, grasper's tail. Shift your weight, again, right leg to the left leg, squaring the hips. Whip to one side. Whip. And from here we do fair lady work shuttle. Cross hands, heel to toe, shift your weight, step left. Right hand comes out under the left to the e west. Step behind, turn, cross hands to the south. Cross hands, step up on the right, step left. To the east, come right around, pigeon toes, step behind, pivot on the heel, to the north. Hold hands, or hold the ball. Left grasp, his tail again. Grasp, his tail. Saw the ball. Take the pulse. Drop elbows. And whip to one side. And move hands like clouds again. Seven times. One. Two. I'm moving back so I can get into the frame. Three. Sweep with the right. Open with the right. Open with the left. Sweep with the right. That must be five or six. Do two more. Six.
and whip. Okay, now comes creeping low like a snake. So you go down, come up, yep, get your balance on that right foot, left foot, and golden rooster stands on left leg, right leg. Half a step behind, open the arms, ward off monkey. Ward off monkey. And ward off monkey. Sit, full slap, step, flying at a slant. Hold the ball, step back. Step up and raise hands again. Hold the ball, push across. White stork spreads wings this time. Again, open, left brush knee, half a step, toe down, push needle to see bottom, and hand penetrates, whatever, the wall back, and right hand down, left hand up, pigeon toed. Sweep with the left, chop with the right, step with the right. This is called white snake turns and puts out tongue. And if you can do a tongue, I just a variation. You can, you know, like the Star Trek wave, just do that. Clean off just to separate the moves. Step back, qua, feel the toe, present, chop with fist, step. Punch, twist step, hold the ball, step right, grass bird's tail, draw the ball, take the pulse, drop elbows. Those are just descriptive terms, really, of what we're doing. And whip to one side. We do three more move hands like clouds. One. Two. And whip. There we go. That's as far as we'll learn today. And then we'll go over those from the previous single whip and the beginning of the creeping low like a snake. And then the golden rooster standing on its legs and warding off monkeys again. So you'll get to see how they uh, uh, work into this, this part. The really cool name is the white snake turns and puts out puts out its tongue. I like that one. Any questions before we begin into the new moves? Well, old moves, new section. Okay, we'll start. I'll, I think I'll do them facing you. So. You can see, at least if I can uh, remember how this goes. Yep, I should start over here, I think. So this is whipped one side. Now you do the creeping low like a snake. Right foot, lift your weight back to it and then sit down you may want to creep out your left and then you switch your weight to the left foot come over you might have to put your toe down and golden rooster stands on left leg 
golden rooster stands on right leg. Open, half a step behind. That's the first board off monkey. Stand up, open the arms. Kind of move your weight parallel, hips to the side. Over that right left foot, half a step behind. Board off monkey, Just straighten the hips with that right leg. Open, sit, half a step behind, board off monkey. And now sit, and then you take a full step behind. One, rotate, flying at a slant. Shift your weight to that back to that left foot and present. Then half a step. Heel down, step up and raise hands. Hold the ball, step right, foot parallel to the left, shift your weight to the right, toe down, right hand comes up, left goes down, white stork spreads wings. So stretch, nice equal and opposite stretch here. Stay tall, open the hands and sit. And step with the left, left hand down in a brush knee. And half a step with the right, kind of a part the curtain is movement, toe down with the left. And behind the wrist, push to the floor, the ground. Get as, your legs as straight as possible. And Sit, raise your hands, and penetrate small the left hand. Right hand comes down, left goes up, pigeon toed, like this. Turn, this one sweeps down the left, the right comes up, and a nice chop with fist. And you clean off. Step back, qua, heel to toe. Present and chop with fist and deflect, parry, and punch. And a twist up, hold the ball, shift your weight to the left foot, step right, grasp bird's tail, draw the ball, take the pulse. Drop elbows. And whip to one side. Now move hands three times like clouds. I forgot to say white snake turn. What's that one? Oh well. <laughs> Two. And whip. There we go. Okay. Uh, I think I'm doing them right. Anyway, any questions on that? What do you see them? Well, I think you've all done them before. So I better check if I'm doing it. Yep. Golden, golden rooster. Yep, fan finish face the back. That's right. White snake turns up the tongue. And grasp it still. Yep, okay, we're on track. Now I'll do it the same way you're doing it. Maybe I'll uh, cover each one as I go. How are we doing for time? Oh, lots of time, good. Okay. I think we're here when we start. Let me think. Mm, I'm not sure. Let's try it this way. Yep, this way. Okay. And we're at whip to one side, the end of the move hands like, like clouds, the seven of them. So now we 
shift your right on your right heel. What? And as you sit down, you can move your left leg out, come up onto it, put your toe down for balance. Golden rooster stands on left leg, right leg. So all you do is lift the right leg, get your balance. And then when you do the ward off monkey, you step behind. Okay, once more, creeping low like a snake. From whip to one side, give it on the heel, give it on the toe, sit into that left, right leg, come across, shifting your way, get your balance. And no, I'm forgetting which way to go. This way. And I have to do it a little quicker. Here we go. Yep. There we go. Golden rooster on right and or left and right leg. You have to make you get your balance. So. And usually you step right behind to do the ward off monkey. Once more. Maybe facing you. Whip to one side. Move it on the right heel, left toe. Sit into the right leg, left toe out. Shift your weight. Golden rooster on the left leg, golden rooster on the light, right leg. And step behind, ward off monkey. Open. Step behind, ward off monkey. Once more. So you do three ward off monkeys. So, ward off monkey from the golden rooster on right leg is like this. So you step behind half a step, open your legs. And I'm doing it the wrong way. I'm on the left leg. Let's see. There we go. Half a step behind. Open. Half a step behind. Open. Left hand up, right hand out. Right toe down. Hip squared with that leg. Stand up, open, sit, half a step, and ward off monkey. Open, sorry, sit. I'll do that a couple more times. Open, half a step, left hand into the hip, ward off monkey. Open. Half a step, ward off monkey. Okay, those together, the ward off monkeys and the creeping low. In the same way you add, we'll be doing it in this set. So, whip. Right heel, left toe. Sit, step, come up, a little shaky on that knee, half a step behind, open, half a step, ward off monkey, open, half a step, sit, stand up, open, half a step, Set. Okay, from here, you'll do the open, stand up, but instead of a half a step, you sit and you make a full step behind, rotate, pivot on the left heel, flying at a slant, shift your weight back to the left, sit, step, 
present. So from the, the last word off monkey, open, set, full step, shift your weight, give it on the left heel, hold the ball, shift your weight to the left foot, stand on the left, step out with the right, 45 degrees, present. Okay. Now let's see if I can do it the other way. You can see what's doing, what's going. From Ward off our golden rooster on the left leg and then the right leg, half a step behind. Nope, I did that wrong again. I think you do the left leg first. That's right. Step behind. No, I'm doing something wrong. There we go. Left foot. And from there, turn, flying a slant. Let me see if I can get, I, I'm beginning wrong at the, at the beginning. So right from the creeping low, wait, should be like that. And come across the ball. And have I got that right this time? And this way. And open this way. There we go. And this way. Once more. It's three times. Open. Sit. Full step. Turn. And fly at a slant. Okay, from here, it's half a step. Part the curtains. Step up and raise hands. That we've done before. Hold the ball. Step parallel. Push across. Toe down. White stark spreads wings. Hold the ball, left brush. And then half a step, push needle to C bottom. Right, left hand in the right palm above your head, sit, step, hand comes, left hand comes out, penetrates the wall. And then you do the white snake threads. White snake turns and puts out tongue. Okay, back to the regular position. And we'll go from whip to one side. To the hand, pen, fan, fan, fan penetrates the wall. Okay. Whip. Creeping low. Left leg, rooster on the right leg. Ward off monkey. Ward off monkey. Ward off monkey. And full step behind, flying at a slant. And present. Okay. Half a step, part the curtains. All your ways on the left leg. Hips this way, heel down. And fist in, or hand into elbow. Step on the raise hands. Hold the ball, left hand on top. Step parallel to the right, left foot, push across. Go down, white stark spreads wings. 
open left brush. And next step, push needle to C bottom. Bam pantry small. And right hand down. White snake turns, puts out tongue. Clean off, step back, wah. Chop with fist. Step left. Deflect, parry, and punch. Twist step, hold the ball. And grasp bird's tail again. Okay. Up to there. I'm not going to do it the other way. I'm going to be confused at the moment. So I'll do it again this way. From creeping low like a snake. Or whipped one side. Okay. We're whipped one side. Your hips are square with this. You can still see your toe. Kind of a straight line between your heel and back of your head. Whipped one side. And then as you shift your weight to your left foot, pivot on that right heel, I mean the right foot, and then you sit in, come across, golden rooster stands on left leg, right leg, ward off monkey, half a step behind with the left foot, yeah, it should be this way, open, Half a step right, sit, open, half a step with the left, open, sit, and a full step, Be parallel, hold the ball, step right, present, hold the ball. Or, yeah, hold the ball. Which way are we going now? Eh. Oh, throw down. No. Oh, boy. You get that right. From where it off, monkey. Open. Full step. Full step. Hold the ball. Present. Half a step. Step up and raise hands. Hold them all, step parallel, push across. White stork spreads wings, open, stand tall, sit, step, left brush knee. Half a step, push knee on the sea bottom. Fan penetrates wall, come back. Right hand down, pigeon toed, white snake turns, puts out tongue. Clean off, step back one, present, chop with fist, step, deflect, parry, and punch, twist step, hold the ball. Grass bird's tail again. We we'll just keep going. Draw the bow, shifting your weight from one leg to the other, turning your hips. Pigeon toed, whip to one side. And then we move hands like clouds three times. These are really nice on a day like this. You can watch the clouds and do this as many times as you want. To remember the clouds are passing thoughts. Three, that's three times. We'll do one more. And whip. To one side. There we go. So that's the new section of moves. I stop for a second, I may be able to do it the other way without getting too confused.
we're already near the end. Any questions on those moves or thoughts? There, you'll you'll notice in some of the names too that you'll get uh, uh, karate or uh, martial arts uh, names, and since Tai Chi is really a basis for uh, the martial arts, almost very slow to get your position, to get your weight balance, all those things keep you healthy on the on the healthy side, keep you healthy on the inside. Everything gets massaged. And it's a good workout, even in the sun here, I'm quite warm. So if you want to review these, follow them online, but I'll, I'll try to do it a whole last bit there again, facing you. Just have to get myself reoriented. Okay, we're at whip to one side. Creeping low like a snake. Golden rooster on the left leg, right leg, half a step open, ward off monkey, open, half a step with the right leg, bring the right left arm up to the front and the right hand down, toe down with the left, stand up and open. Half a step with the left leg, shift your weight. Right hand out, left hand down. Open, sit, full step, fly at a slant. It's kind of a neat term too. Present, step out with the right foot. All your weight's on the right foot. Half a step, part the curtains, heel down. That's a uh, fist into elbow. Step up and raise hands. That's it. And then after step up and raise hands, this one comes around over top. Hold the ball. You got that energy between your wrists. Step parallel. Push across. Left toe down. White stork spreads wings. Stay tall. Sit. Left brush knee, half a step, toe down, and a half step, push your needle to the sea bottom, sit, step left, fan penetrates back, right hand down, left hand sweeps, Right hand comes up, glitch up like this. White snake turn, puts it. Lean off, step back, wa, heel the toe. Present, chop with fist. Deflect, parry, and punch. Twist, step left, hold the ball again. Step up onto the left, step right. Grass bird's tail, no touching here, just like a feather, the tail feather between your palm and your fingers. Now you can grasp your pulse, shift your weight one leg to the other, rotating the hips. And whip to one side, whip. Move hands like clouds. Right hand out, left hand double down across. Lifting the cross, shift your weight, step, shift your weight, left across, right down, shift your weight. Once more. Now we'll do once more. I think I forgot a bit at the end there. We didn't do this. This is whip. And here. And then returning kick. Okay. We beat Pat Horse and 
I've forgotten something. Whip. Let's wait. Or what is it? Reach up to pat horse. It should be end up like this. And then you go across, strike, and kick, turn, chop, twist, hold the wall. I'm, I'm getting confused, I think. And grass bird's tail. That's it. Drop elbows. And once again, whip to one side. There we go. Okay. I hope we can get that straight. <laughs> anyway, if we had time, we'd do it all again. But I think we'll leave it there for today. And hopefully you can uh, see what we did wrong. And also, uh, if you have any questions, you feel free to email me or put them in the chat and maybe Mary will let me know what they are. Oops.